Hi guys, I have a new cactus plant here that my husband got for Valentine's Day. It didn't come labeled. The pot just said cactus with decorative flower. But I looked it up and I'm fairly certain it's a golden ball cactus. According to Wikipedia, it's also known as lemon ball or yellow tower cactus. I'll insert the scientific name down below. So here I prepared this pot with a mixture of succulent or cactus potting mix with some bonsai jack. It's about a 2 to 1 mixture of succulent soil and bonsai jack. I just eyeballed it and now I'm just mixing it together. I want a coarse soil mixture so that the water drains out fast and that the cactus doesn't stay too wet. So here's how my potting soil looks after mixing it all together. What's really sticking out and bothering me is this fake flower on top. I can't wait to take it off. I know it's going to be tricky because of all the spines or thorns, but I'll do my best. I don't want to damage the plant in any way. I just want to get this flower off without nicking the flesh off. I've done this for my other cactus plants, so I'm not too worried. Even if part of the flesh comes off, just let it dry and the wound would heal on its own. As you can see, I have my gardening gloves on. You want to be very careful when handling these plants no matter how small they look. These thorns are no joke. They can give you the worst splinters. I've even gotten mild skin irritation just from lightly brushing against them, so I'm being very careful. So this is really glued on very, very securely. It is not budging. I'm trying to cut from where the glue is on the plant. My plan is to cut off the flower but leave some of the glue on the plant. I just want to get as much of it off but not the whole thing because I want to do as little damage as possible. We're still in the middle of winter here and even though it's a mild winter, I don't want the plant to get too wet and too cold if it has an open wound just to prevent it from rotting or getting sick. As you've probably noticed, I have my mask on, not because of COVID, but because the dust particles from the soil really irritate my nose and throat, so I make it a point to wear masks when gardening. I'm struggling to get this off, but I will persist and not give up. Some people suggest to melt the glue first by using like a hair, hair dryer, but I'm not going to do that. Here, I finally got most of it out. This is what I cut off. Some spines from the cactus got pulled out when I, with it, but I don't see any flesh part. There's still some hot glue left, but that should fall off in time, I hope. And some of the plastic flour is still there, but I got most of it out. I pulled out some of the spines, but the flesh didn't come off, so I'm happy about that. Now that I got that out of the way, I can now transplant this plant into this other pot. The soil feels nice and dry, which is a good sign in my opinion. That means they didn't overwater the plant and kept it mostly dry. You don't want to water cactus plants in the winter. They like to stay dry during the colder months, so I'm happy to see that the soil does not feel moist. Sometimes you get a plant and it is soaking wet. I think my husband purchased this from Home Depot. Let me grab a pair of tongs so I don't touch any part of the flesh with spines. Now that I got it where I want it, let me just secure the plant by pressing down. I know that the plant is not centered in the pot. It's hard for me to do that when I'm being very careful not to touch it. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Let me just scoop up the remaining soil. Bonsai Jack is expensive, so I don't want to waste any part of it. 
it just needs a little bit more on top so let me add a little bit more bonsai jack and pat it down so here's how it looks I think this pot looks very good with this plant. I'm not sure if you can tell, but this cactus has some golden tones to it. The spines are very thin and yellowish gold in color. This plant looks small now, but it will get taller and can grow up to 10 inches tall or longer. It can produce yellow flowers on its crown. Here it is. I'm happy with how it looks in this pot. The colors go really well together. I will not water this yet. I'll update you on how this plant is doing in the next couple of weeks, so please stay tuned. Hi again guys! Before I end this video, I just wanted to give you a quick update on this plant. It's been about 5 weeks and here's how the plant looks. This part where the glued on flower was removed is still healing. It doesn't look that attractive right now, but it doesn't have any open wounds. Eventually, this glue will just fall off. Not much has changed since the last time except the color looks more yellow or golden. I've had it out in the sun. It gets mostly morning sun, but it gets really sunny where I live. I haven't watered this plant yet since I repotted it. I was wait waiting for the weather to get warmer. And now that spring is here, I think it's safe to water this now. I try not to water my cactus during winter months since I have them all outside. I did bring this in once or twice when the weather got really cold and below freezing. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if these are the type of content you'd like to see. I have a playlist of related topics you can check out down below. Thanks so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day wherever you are and happy gardening. Bye.